driving home and I just got this strong desire to jump on here and say this. There's a group of people that's coming, that's being prepared and trained right now that's going to be terrible. You hear me? Terrible for Satan and his kingdom. Yep. There's a group of people who won't care whether you invite them on your platform or not. There's a group of people who don't even need a platform. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's a group of people that's coming with no fear at all. Persecution, they eat like candy. There's a group of people who is not going to care about their delivery. Mm -mm. How they get the message or the word out. Okay? There's a group of people who can care less whether you offended by what they say or not. There's a group of people that many of you are going to pray and want to get rid of them. Y'all gonna be like, don't, uh-uh, get rid of them people. We need them other people back. Get Bring them other believers back. These people, we don't want them. Why? Because when they open their mouth, there's nothing but fire coming out of it. There's a group of people that's coming. They're not going to be all dressed up in suit and tie. They're not going to be all cute and pretty. They're not going to be all they not going to be all decked out in the latest uh-uh. Mm-mm. The group of people that's coming, they might look like the walking dead. But they coming with fire in their belly. <laughs> so y'all going to want us back. Mm. These believers that that can relate, the believers, oh God is love. You know, just just repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. You know, the patient ones, the kind ones, you know. Y'all gon' y'all gonna wish we were back. There's a group of people that their only mission, their only mission is to proclaim the word and the judgment of God. Hey, Shalom, Maki, I'm Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Akakwadash. Um, I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. You know, as in this gospel abroad, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Na'aki, Mahalaya, coming back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord, would it be edifying? Um, this video has been circulating uh, around YouTube. Um, I'm not sure if they got it from TikTok or whatever platform, but uh, this is basically number two of another woman basically going into the elect men. She says, well, they coming, y'all. Well, <laughs> they're already here. Okay, the 144 is already here. And they're yet to be, and they, they are woke. Okay, we're activated. But like the elder Yashawamba stated, it's a uh, time for glory, okay? Like right now, we're in a time of a glory of teaching the word. But we're getting ready to enter to another glory. So this truth comes up in stages. While the teaching phases are getting ready to be dwindled down on the street corners, the power is getting ready to come and people are getting ready to witness and manifest. They manifest as the sons of God. Like the scriptures say, the creature honestly honestly uh, uh wait for the, i'm gonna get that wait for the manifestations of the sons of god okay so she's talking about and she's describing no other than 144,000, which were men which are men all men okay the prophets of the lord of yahweh by shimmy shai okay because you have uh the 144 and you have the one third remnant which the one third remnant will be women children and other believers okay and you're gonna have some men in that too but predominantly women and children of the 144,000, you see? But basically, she made some interesting points. She said, hey, they're not going to care about being on anybody's uh, uh, platform. We don't care about going on nobody's platform. All these different Hebrew Israelite groups, they want to get a name and a following for themselves. They want to be known. They want to clout chase. But we don't, we don't care about that shit, man. 
Okay, we, we make our jobs as simple as possible. We go out there for a couple hours and teach and take our black asses home. We bring out the word and we keep it pushing as the men of the Lord supposed to. Okay, how many times have Sarnetta approached the apostles of Great Millstone to come on his platform to do debates? And he's been turned down every time because we don't give a shit about that. Okay, now if he was able to get a GMS camp on his platform, man, that man, bro, that will make Sarnetta's day. He, I mean, if I called up Sarnetta, I'm like, hey, Sarnetta, man, we interested in coming on your platform and let's do a debate. Let's do X, Y, and Z. He'd make that shit happen overnight. You know, but we ain't with that because we don't care about the, the worldly accolade. We don't care about this world. She mentioned they're not going to be pretty. They're going to look like zombies, okay? Well, not necessarily zombies or walking dead, but, you know, we are known as the bum camp, okay? We known as the camp that we have the raggedy garment, we have the basic garments, okay? We're not uniform like these other groups. We're raw, we're rough. She mentioned, though, when they speak, fire comes out. Yeah, we speak because when we speak, we speak with authority, man. Okay, we speak with authority and, you know, we, we make you feel some type of way. And we don't give a shit about who we offend if it's coming from the word of the Heavenly Father. Because ultimately, if you get offended, it's because you're not right anyway. So we don't care about that shit. Now, it's not our job to just go out there and cause offenses to people. But he told Isaiah, cry aloud and spare not. Lift up thy voice as a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. That's what we're commanded to do. So if you get hurt because we bring out facts about you and the way you're living and you get offended, then that's on you, man. We don't give a shit. All right. Clearly, we don't. That's between you and the Lord. You figure it out. OK. Anyway, uh, let's go to a couple of precepts here. This is, I found this to be a very interesting video. I wanted to do something on it last night, but spirit like just wait to the morning. So because it's a lot of information, a lot of. A lot of edification men coming out. Um, a, a particular guy from IUIC, I don't know him. Allegedly, he was shot on prospect out there doing the work or speaking on the street corners. Uh, allegedly, somebody rolled up and shot at the camp and he must got hit. I don't know the intricate details about it. Uh, I don't know what the alt was. I don't know if there was any arguing or anything like that. Or it, it could have been some camp. Who knows, man? Especially after that finagle with the uh, ISUPK. I mean, you know, it's a lot, a lot of question marks in the air now, you know, or if that guy that was shot had some ties to streets or some personal thing. I mean, regardless of it, it's a lot of shit going on out here, man. OK, so this Holy Spirit is, is zooming in on what needs to be done and they're getting ready to shut the Internet down. OK, all this craziness, they're getting ready to, to, to bring a halt to everything and we're getting ready to enter to another glory, brother. So just. Y'all just be ready, man, and be ready to deal with the responsibility as it comes, okay? So this is the book of uh, Jeremiah 5, and I'm going to start at verses, uh, the start of verses 14. It says, Wherefore thus says the Lord Yahweh of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make thy, my words in thy mouth fire, okay? And this people would, and it should devour them. This is the reason why they wanted to kill Jeremiah, because, hey, he went about... And he spoke the words of the Most High to them. And they didn't like his delivery. They didn't like what he was saying. They said that he brought evil upon the people. Okay, because when you go into the book of Jeremiah, the 18th chapter, starting in verses like 20 on down, he was basically putting a curse on Israelites. It was a prayer and he was putting a curse on them, man. Asking the Most High to deliver their children up to the famine, to the, the troops, man, the martial law, the destruction of pestilence, the famine. And when you look at what we do, we're doing the same thing that the prophets did. And that's the reason why the prophets were ultimately persecuted. They was put to death. They were stoned, beheaded. You know what I'm saying? All types of amount of evil happened to us in our past lives because we spoke the words of the Lord. But this time, there's going to come a time that the Lord is going to give us the advantage. And we're not going to be uh, uh, consumed by our enemies as a collective. Now, you're going to have some brothers that's going to get caught, get the guillotine get persecuted of course you're gonna have that that happened before but as a collective majority of the brothers are gonna escape that type of fate lord's will all right but he says here um i will make my words in thy mouth fire and this people would and shall devour them and this is basically what she was saying she said they're not gonna worry about fitting in they're not gonna worry about how they look to people or anything like that because we don't care okay we don't care if our family is good or not at least i don't at this point 
the first when I woke up, I wanted everybody to get the truth. I was so excited just knowing that I had some some dealings with the Lord. Man, I was like, oh, man, everybody has to know this. You know, you young, dumb, naive. You're like, oh, shit, oh, I got to tell my father. I got to tell my mother. I got to tell my sisters and brothers. First thing I told these people, man, they were like, nigga, you want to cope. <laughs> get out of here with that. We ain't dealing with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I found out real quick to the point that the Lord took me away from the Lord. Like, they not even worth, they not even worthy saving. You know what I'm saying? It's scary. That means that my family, I don't, they must have some serious offenses that they've done until the Yahweh Shai, man. Because, I mean, to the point, I don't even live in the same state as the majority of my family anymore. You know what I'm saying? I have family out here and stuff, but for the most part, my main, my my folks, my kin folks, I'm not no, I'm I'm not nowhere around them. So the Lord is like, fuck them, let them be destroyed. You know, back of my mind, I'm like, why? Like, you know, these are my people's like, what's up? But obviously, they've done things that I don't even know. You know, because in my mindset, it is like shit. They're against the truth. So, but that's the point. So uh, let's get another preset real quick to back up that point. <sighs> Go to Book of Revelation uh, 11, because this is the real deal. OK, the hopeful elect, the 144. We're here. Lord's will. I'm of that number. All right, I'm not going to say oh, we're here like I'm one. I don't know. I just pray that I'm of, one, of the 144. I pray. You know what I'm saying? I hope, you know, because we have the hopeful elect, because Paul said who dared to make themselves of that number. But you got guys around here that's basically saying, oh, yeah, we know we're the elect. OK, we're going to see. <laughs> All right, but this is the book of Revelation 11, and I'm going to start at verses 3. It says, and I will give power uh, unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand and two hundred and three square days clothed in sackcloth. Okay, when you look at sackcloth, it goes into a, a garment of austerity that the ancient prophets wore. That's the reason why we ain't uniform like that, man. Like, you look at all the brothers in the Great Millstone and the other brothers that follow the teachings. We're not uniform. We don't have shirts that say Israel United in Christ or uh, ISUPK garment or Sakari garment. All them guys are uniform, man. You know, we just go out there with whatever garment fits our spirit. We go out there and we put on our garments and do the work of the Lord and we take we keep it moving, man. You know, I give a little two hour speeches as this guy Gonzalo Lira say, give their little bullshit speeches <laughs> according to him. <laughs> and then they go about their business. Well, he's absolutely right, but. I refute the bullshit because it's actually the truth. Okay, nothing we speak is BS, whether you people agree with it or not. Okay, because most people find fault with what we say in how we say it. You know, but if they paid attention to what we were saying and they actually read the scriptures, they would say, oh, well, you know, it makes a lot of sense. But you have to understand that these people hate Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. They hate the Lord. I mean, prime example, look at that society. It's crumbling. Bro, it is literally... Uh, June 28th or 9th and I haven't heard of firework yet that's that's unusual for this time usually around this time motherfuckers are shooting fireworks off at the beginning of June all the way to August I haven't I mean I heard something last night but for the most part ain't nobody shooting fireworks nobody feels the, nobody's celebrating independence anymore <laughs> okay because they realize that the birth is leaving I was reading an article too that a lot of people are staving off there here in Missouri. And Missouri is big for so-called liberals, right? I mean, for uh, Slovakia patriots. They're big on their liberties here. They're big on their, their American flag here in Missouri. It's a red state. Places in Missouri, they're holding off their 4th of July celebration into September. Wow. You know? So these people are mad, man. Okay? And this is this through. And it says, and these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before Yahweh on the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth. Okay, symbolically, we're speaking the words of the, of the Heavenly Father, which is fire. It devoured these people. It cuts them to the spirit, to the core. It makes them want to kill us, man. And then it's going to come a time that we're going to spit actual fire. Okay, this is going to be a literal scripture in due time, too. See, people seem to... Take us out of the equation of us fitting this bill because we're not actually doing miracles like that. We're not calling fire down from heaven. But how you know that we ain't? How do you know that? How do you know when a brother offers up a prayer to the most high and then some shit go down somewhere else? How do you know that that wasn't predicated on the brother's prayer? Hey, brothers, when you pray, man, 
The scriptures say that the prayer of the saints are like a sweet savior unto the most high. When you offer up them prayers, man, the Lord will act on them prayers. Don't think he don't. Just because he ain't acting within you, within your reason of time, that don't mean that he ain't going to act. But everything that I've ever prayed for, I believe in it. Shit, I, it, it came to pass. And if it haven't come to pass, I know it's going to come to pass. Some form of fashion, some way. And sometimes you're so blinded to your prayers coming to pass to the point of the Lord. Like, nigga, I just answered your prayers right here in front of you. You think about it. He was like, damn, shit, I did ask for that. Lord, like, hello, bingo, um, here you go. You see? Lord, I have a funny way of answering prayers, man. You know, you pray for parent patience. Lord, I'm going to put you through something that's going to give you patience. Period. Be ready for what you pray for. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you know, like, you know, praying for patience. Shit, now I got a little, I got a little cat, you know, a little, little kitten. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I don't have a house, so I can't have a big ass dog running around. My, I'd rather have a dog. Well, dogs are like raising kids, you know, but then, you know, this little cat, she's cool little cat, man. But it just like she's tasting my patience because she's litter box trained. But now she's pissing on my floor and I had to lock her ass in the bathroom for the last two days. She's on punishment. And I was thinking about giving her ass up like, you know, I ain't got time for you. But maybe it could be a way of the Lord having me to deal with my pray my patience. You know, who knows? I'm still in thought about getting rid of her. <laughs> But she's a cool little cat. She's smart as hell. She's fun to play with. But she's been pissing and she shitting on my floor one time. And, you know, she knows better than that. She's a little box. She goes right to the little box and she pees in it and, and boo-boo in it. So it's like, okay, why are you fucking on my floor now? What's up with you? So she's on punishment. But part of me was like, all right, this is just patient. This is an animal. You got to expect that. You know, the animal ain't here. It goes off instinct. They mark their territory. They piss and shit on the floor. They feel they need to do you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like cleaning the shit up, but I got to do it. So she's been on punishment for two days. <laughs> but regardless of it, your prayers, man, patience. So, hey, when we get them powers, brothers, man, hey, don't, it, it's going to be some shit out this world. Don't shy away from it. You know, you end up running and you jumping up and you end up flying somewhere. And then all of a sudden you get scared. Oh, man, I don't know. I got the power. Okay, you got the power. What you going to do with it? You know what I'm saying? Don't tell nobody I can fly. I Look. <laughs> All right. But uh, it says here, and if any man hurt them, fire proceed out of their mouth and devour their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must be he must in this manner be killed. And these have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn on the blood and to smite the earth for all plagues as often as they will. Man. OK, so this is what she's going into. She's talking about the 144,000, which they are already here, sister. They here. Okay. Who they are? Hey, we have a great idea. We know to some degree. I mean, I ain't going to say to some degree. We know who they are, but we don't know who they are, if that make any sense. Like, I can't say, oh, it's that brother there, that brother. We don't know, but we do know it's going to come within the ranks of our organization for the most part. Now, is all of 144,000 going to come out of... GMS, fuck no, never, I never, no, that's just, that just, that's a cult of mindset of thinking, okay, because you got other brothers out here that follows us that's not part of Great Millstone, but they're going to be pushing that doctrine, okay, now is every brother in Great Millstone 144, fuck no, okay, am I 144, shit, Lord's will, I believe it, but I can't put a stamp and say, oh yeah, I know I'm the 144, I pray and I hope. Lord's given me signs. He's shown me things, but that don't mean shit. Okay, Lord can show a lot of things, and then all of a sudden you end up falling short. So, you know, I look at the signs as encouragement to keep going. But overall, man, you know, you just use that as a as a as a stepping stone to keep pushing because it may just be. You know what I'm saying? Like I see, one forty four all the time, four 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 all the time. I wake up at one forty four in the morning. It just it's just weird how the shit happens, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. The, the, the numbers on a credit card, 144, 1244, fucking my, my goddamn uh, uh, Spire account, which is my uh, utility for my gas, it's 144, 1244, It's like literally all spiritual numbers. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, wow, how the hell did this even happen? But, you know, I try not to use it and make me big headed because that don't mean anything. But it just, what are the chances, right? 
And I've prayed for it. I've, I've prayed to, to, to be of the Lord's army. I'll just say, shit, Lord, if you ain't got no other purposes, use me as a battle axe, man. Make me a weapon of war. That's all I, I just, <laughs> I just want to go out and do Superman shit. You feel me? I want to be on some bright burn type shit. That's just, that, that's just what I want to do, you know? And the Lord says, seek ye the kingdom of the most high first and his righteousness and all things should be added to you. The Lord, give you the desires of your heart. Shit, it's a light thing for, for the Lord to make you a bright burn, bro. Like, straight up Brightburn. <laughs> Y'all know what Brightburn is. Brandon Biden, fuck around, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but uh, Revelation uh, uh, 7, and I'm going to start at verses, uh, let's start at verses 1. It says here, And after these things, I saw the four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not be blown on the earth, nor or the sea, nor any tree. The wind goes into the destruction. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Okay, and we believe the 144 is back today, you know, and I mean, of course, you're going to have men that's crossed over to the spiritual world. But they're going to come back, okay, because the scriptures goes into a resurrection of the dead as well, a resurrection to life and a resurrection to damnation. So we believe that those great men that came before us, Abba Bivens, uh, High Priest Shar, uh, High Priest Ariar, which he's still around, he's not dead, uh, a King uh, Masha, which we believe to be David, okay, not some bugged out nigga that can fling a slingshot uh, across a goddamn field. Calling himself King David. We know that guy's completely out of his mind. But, you know, we know who David is through the spirit. We believe these men are of the 144,000. I mean, if you are King David in the spirit, you're definitely of that number. Okay, so the Lord is going to raise up those servants too. Okay, and they're going to join the rest of the men in the Lord. But the majority of them are right here on the earth today. I believe they're all born. I believe they're all in the truth, teaching the words. And I believe they're out there speaking. But that's just my belief. Okay. And it says, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and that was sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. 144,000, man. All right? So keep that in mind. Yeah, how about Shimei Shai? Hey, he's getting ready to turn Jake into Terminator mode, especially with the type of wrath they're getting ready to come down with. We're going to need it. Uh... Uh, one more precept here. Uh, I keep forgetting what that's at. Come on, no. Israel. Matthew was 19. And I'm going to start at verses. Um, let's start at verses. 26 it says but Yahweh Shai believed beheld them and said unto them with men this is possible with the most high all things are possible when he says all things that means anything anything is possible with the Lord remember this is a power that you can't put in a box you can't contain Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai okay omnipotent that means omnipotent omnipotent means all powerful man there's nothing that the Lord can't do man the Lord wanted to create a duplicate of you and throw him right in front. He can do that. It's to the it's good. look, man. We gonna start working outside of the the the, the laws of, of realism, so to speak. It's gonna get real, real crazy out. Here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People will pop it up with stories about how fucking mermaids and it's it's crazy, man. How people are coming up with shit, but I ain't putting nothing past these people because the scriptures, all things are possible with the Most High. Then Peter. Then answer Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and have followed thee. What should we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that which ye have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne, uh, in the regeneration, which is reincarnation, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he also should sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man. Okay, and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and should inherit everlasting life. 
but many that are first should be last and the last should be first, man, okay? This is what we're getting into. She even mentioned it. She said, look, they don't give a damn about what people think or how people perceive them to be. And we really don't, okay? We really don't. Yeah, it gets annoying at times that people uh, look down on us, but, you know, that comes with the territory. You know what I'm saying? That comes that that comes with the territory. It just it's just what it is. And it's not gonna always be like that. Alright. Uh I think that's Zechariah. Yep, Zephaniah three. And um this is the book of um Zephaniah three. And I'm gonna start at verse sixteen. It says, In that day it should be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not into Zion, let not thy hands be slack. But the Lord Yahweh in the midst of thee is mighty, and he will save, and he will rejoice over thee with joy, and he will rest in his love, and he will joy over thee with singing. And I will gather them that are sorrowful from the solemn assembly. Solemn goes into uh, like a austere, man, austerity. This is why we have solemn assemblies. We're not joking around in our Passover. Who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. But behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame, man. Okay. And it says, and I will, and, and at that time, I will bring you again, even at the time that I will gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, says the Lord. And this is happening right now. So with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How was shy? And with that, shalom and the baba baba. That's the spirit.